Oh, it's doing summer. <laughs> And we are live! Oh, hey, There we go. Right. Um, if you can hear me, you can't see me at the moment, let me just get my uh, my webcam going on my Raspberry Pi. Right. Hello. If you can see me. Um, last time I went live, I um, had a few issues and I couldn't get my camera working. I was trying to do the uh, the um, Chromium interface to to do the um, show the Google uh, th sorry the YouTube um, live stream for the chat etc. Um, but this time I've got my laptop doing it. Hey! So I can see the chat. I'm just going to stick that over there, and I'm going to plug my charger in so it doesn't die. Awesome. There we go. Right. Hello. Um, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, and in this live um, coding video, um, it says me editing the video and syncing up the. Uh, as you can see, my um, webcam is about a second behind from me talking um, so there you go um, can't have everything I guess um, but Raspberry Pi it is working it is streaming live to YouTube on my other computer and if I bring up my phone I should be live on my YouTube on here as well oh dear <laughs> right um, so there we go, it is live. Awesome. Whew. Right, uh, the plan of action for today's video. Let's get cracking with it. Um, as it says in the description, it says live coding in Python, grabbing a CCTV picture for my home heating security control. Um, right, so let us just bring up my, my current uh, version. Now I've created two buttons um, so I've got an on button and I have a off button um, so bearing in mind I've already created that button um, because I didn't see point in doing this on the Python video so there you go. Uh, right let us in here I have settings for my username um, my password, the IP address and the um, port number and also the camera um, details because I don't want to give you them <laughs> so there you go because um, I don't want to display it to everybody in the whole world um, so anyhow let's get rid of that uh, leave that, make that full screen Right, so I already pre-sorted this out so that um, uh, it's commented out so it won't take over the full screen when I run it. Um, so let me just run this. Um, this is working locally on this Raspberry Pi. Um, I've got nothing attached to my GPIOs so I can't trigger any sensors. Um, but when I've completed the uh, what I want to do with the video, I will... Um, upload it to the pilots downstairs um, because it's currently running the software um, and uh, then we'll test it out in a live situation so I'll open that window and I'll stick my arm out and trigger the rear sensor and hopefully this time bit here will then show the uh, well it'll be the rear uh, picture of my house okay no pressure then yeah Right, um, so currently uh, in the security settings uh, I've got these um, as they are. I've got external voice which uh, I'm going to turn off because I don't want anything weird to happen. Uh, turn the vo doors off. I can trigger my decking lights if it was the correct pie. But here, the barbecue time, which was um, an idea, 
because uh, normally when we have barbecues I don't want it to trigger lights and stuff and it saves me clicking all these to uh, work automatically um, I just press that and it sorts it all out um, but I'm not going to bother with that I'm going to change that to be my CCTV um, preview button um, on there okay so let's get moving um, so first I want to create um, rather than running that script all the time I'm just going to create a new file uh, and I'm going to save this into the same folder so I can use them settings for the there's uh, nothing in the chat uh, now and then I'll just glance over so I'm going to go into desktop and home and I'm going to call this CCTV so this is just my working script and then when I've got this working I'll import it into the main code because um, I like to prefer it well I prefer to do stuff that way um, anyhow what am I going to get right let me just show you because just before the live stream um, maybe about half an hour ago um, before I try to settle my nerves etc um, I pulled a picture from my camera system and it looks like that so it was uh, about quarter to three, so about an hour ago. Um, it's taken me an hour to settle down, I guess. <laughs> Ish. Um, so there you go. So that is my front camera. Um, so that is what I'm aiming to do. As you can see up the top here, it's 1920 by 1080. Um, my desktop isn't that size. Um, 1280 by 800, I believe this desktop is. Uh, sorry, the screen that I'm working with on my Oak Pie laptop. So, um, so that's what I'm aiming to do. So I want to get my front, the side, and the rear cameras to trigger when a uh, sensor is triggered that's outside the house. No problem. Let's uh, let's have a go anyhow. Uh, so I'll close that off, and we've got our script. So, right. Now when I pulled that image, I used the command line. Um, I used wget, um, entered the IP address with my username, password, etc. Um, and I set an output file to the front um, cam.png, I think it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, I'm not going to do that in here because I want to do it by Python. Um, so, um, I'm going to need to use a couple of libraries. I want to use uh, requests, so I'm going to import requests and I'm going to, I like to stick stuff in an order, so from pill or pillow um, import image, so I'm going to use the image um, unit from um, pillow uh, and go down here, right, so let's first of all get a we'll call it capture um, and capturer <laughs> um, set this to a request dot get and we're going to pass oh I need to I almost forgot I need to put my um, from my house whoa, house settings um, import star. Now a lot of people don't like doing that and I don't mind doing that when it's my own script. I know what's in there and I know what I'm playing with. Um, but, do you know what? Let's be specific. Um, if I can remember what I've set the variables to, that would help. Um, so I think I've got the user and I've got pass wd I've got the uh, uh, user uh, oh yeah um, I think it's cam IP for the IP address uh, I've got the port mm, what's it called I don't want to show it <clears throat> cam IP Do you know what? Let me uh, just uh, from yeah from my house 
settings. I don't want to show you my details. <laughs> Import star. Right, now if I do directory it should tell me my variables and if it doesn't I'll get very upset and camera IP uh, I've obviously planned this well in advance <laughs> um, right so I've got my camera they're the camera numbers I've got my um, camera IP where's the port one Got my password, I know that, I know my camera bits. I know I've done a part number one. Where is it? Please excuse me while I uh, try and figure out what my part number I don't want to enter the part number by hand. I do have a variable set and I should should be on here. Hey dear. Ah, HTTP port. There we go. Right. Let's get back onto that line. Um so camera IP um HTTP port. Um and then I want to pull in camera one, camera two and camera I'm only going to go with, I'll just go with one. I'll just do the front one that I showed you uh, earlier. Right, so uh, the URL that I'm going to pass um, into this would be http um, colon forward slash forward slash stick a placeholder in there for the um, user and then a colon another placeholder and at symbol and then another placeholder for the camera IP um, another colon and the placeholder for the port number and then it's uh, forward slash I don't know what this stands for ISAPI I guess um, streaming um, dot channels forward slash and then another for the camera number so I'm going to pop that in. It's only 101 for camera 1. Um, it's nothing to be... Um, it's not really... Uh, but the, the reason why I've done it as a variable is so that when I do my function um, I'm able to, um, when I call the function, pass in which camera to go for um, to do the picture and then show it on screen. Um, so when it's done that I want the forward slash and then picture for a picture grab um, and then it needs to be a question mark video resolution um, width equals 1920 and vid video resolution um, height equals 10 whoops 1080 right so that I'll be a long super duper long um, <laughs> string um, that is the HTTP uh, details right I need to pass in um, the yes I need to pass in the uh, dot format um, and the first one is user uh, and then it's the pass word and then it's the cam uh, oops, IP and then the HTTP port and then camera one super right I'm sorry that's off screen but um, yeah it's uh, it's a bit long um, if well, if I didn't have this bit on here, it would be a, a really, well, it won't be a, a, a 1080 picture. Uh, it'll be like a squarish sort of picture, um, and that's why I've put that on. Um, I do have HD cameras, and that's the size of the picture uh, that is uh, set into it. So 
basically I have grabbed the picture and I want to check if that picture is correct um, so I'm going to do print um, capture and uh, that will give me a response uh, if it's done it or not so let us just saved well I need to save it anyhow um, there we go we've got a response of 200 which is good um, so that means that bit's worked right let's get rid of that uh, now uh, I want to <coughs> use the image library to um, so I'll call this image I guess um, and we'll go with image dot um, I'm jumping gun here I want to show you how it shows so let me just print out um, capture dot content and this will res return the bytes of the actual picture rather than uh, the response uh, and it should be something rather cool wowzers 8492 lines of uh, bytes um, so there you go I'm not going to click on that so uh, it doesn't mean anything when you do it um, but so now you've seen that I'm going to do it so image uh, is even equal to image dot and I'm going to use from bytes what's going on no my keyboard died is working but my dongle's not working uh, keyboard I don't believe it there's nobody watching live stream I don't think uh, um, that is so annoying. I need a wire. Let me just rob this wire from my little lad's got a, a Kindle Fire. Uh, I'm going to rob his power lead and put my keyboard uh, power it up. Uh, I think it's died. coming up to Halloween but this isn't blood. Um, that's black current and hot water. because uh, that's how I drink it. <clears throat> Seriously. Right. My USB for my keyboard is underneath my camera, so I'm just gonna have to pull my camera. Turn my camera off a second. And uh,
this a try. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Right. Um, I hope that'll be alright. I've never actually charged it whilst I've been using it. Whew. Sorry for the noise. Got me uh, um, headset back on. Let's got my uh, camera back. I ain't plugged in, Wally. Plug it in beforehand. Mm. Oh dear. Need to uh FFmpeg is doing my live stream and it should be FF play um to do with my webcam. So let's try and click it again. Hey, ta-da! <laughs> right. <laughs> Whew. Uh, it's not like a, any issues, is there? <laughs> That's the fun about coding. You have to solve the problems. And God, do I have problems. <laughs> uh, right. <sighs> Sorry about all that. Um, The stream current bitrate is 672 kilobits per second, which is lo lower than the recommended bit. That's what the uh, YouTube um, on my laptop over here is saying. Uh, there's nobody in chat, otherwise they would probably be uh, having a laugh at my misfortune. Anyhow, let's get back to uh, what I wanted to do. Strange how I had to unplug my USB for the keyboard though, because um, my mouse which uses the same dongle um, was working so that's why I thought it must move batteries off my keyboard. Never mind. Hopefully I don't break it because I've never charged it whilst I've been using it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so image is equal to image dot from, there we go, bytes. I'm actually typing now. Uh, it's in a weird position now is the keyboard. It's on the edge of this cupboard that I use because I'm stood up um, in little lad's room because uh, it's the quietest room when there's a dog downstairs um, <coughs> and the boy playing on Fortnite down out. Uh, anyhow, sorry, waffling on. Um, so I want the mode to be RGB, um, whoops, um, the size. Uh, it needs to be a tuple, I know that much. So 1920 by 1080. Um, it's gone away. Uh, data, I think it was next. And this wants to be cap cheer dot content because it's wanting to receive the bytes, as in image dot from bytes. Um, and if we pass that in. Uh, that should be okay and let's img dot save and we will call this um, cctv I guess dot png because we we'll want to work with pngs when you're working with Takinta um, that's all we need let's run that and we got a problem, not enough image data. Um, how weird. That's from bytes. Um, all the bytes are there. Well, I think so, anyhow. Do you know, I've had enough problems so far. Let me just, uh, <coughs> let me just do a search on my phone. <laughs> uh, rather than pulling up uh, a web page on here. I don't want to touch my laptop because I don't want people to think that I'm looking at a script. I've just got the... Uh, right, so I want to search for Python. Um, pillow image from bytes. So I want 
to pull that into image using the from bytes and we'll search there go into that one and good old stack overflow <laughs> um, well here um, somebody's got it where they they're using a, another library called IO if you can see that so no you probably can't great that was a, a slight waste of time right so let's try and uh, have a go with that method of doing it so let's uh, import IO never really used it before but hey <coughs> um, so he's doing image.open so let's just get rid of all that so image.open well I say he it could be a she um, and then we're passing in io.bytes io and then we're passing in the image data and my image data is capture dot content and let's see if that works we've not had an error <laughs> we've not had an error <laughs> awesome uh, let's just get to the uh, folder oops I didn't mean to do that one that should stay on top anyhow it is on top I must have pulled it back uh, let's get into here and CCTV picture 16 or 4 there you go there's a time that is a live picture um, well it's not alive now um, because it's um, seconds ago oh it's just gone at 16 or 5 so just so you don't think there's any dodgy trick ricks everything's gone wrong so far let us uh, let's uh, let's do it again so we should have a 1605 and this is the picture that's loaded into memory so if I close that and bring up that picture again there we go 1605 and 15 seconds sorted right so we've got this picture pulling um, I want to use the image library I want to uh, wrong one let's get the there all right I want to um, it's been a while since I've used pillar um, but I want to image um, dot resize and we want to pass in um, I presume it'll be a tuple again so I'll pass in the size that I want now the screen that I use for my touch screen downstairs on my um, my amazing version of a home assistant uh, my home heating control security thing um, is 800 um, by 480 um, and I've I know because of the uh, picture sizing if you bring it down um, I'm not gonna get it to fill so I'm gonna I'll have to compensate and lose out on the height um, but I'm gonna have the full width of the screen so I want to resize that uh, and I want to save it and let's get rid of that one it's gone through let's uh, bring up the picture and oh, it's still 1080 the time has changed though so that's good um, ah I know what I've done um, it's been, like I say, it's been a while since I've done Pillow, um, so I'm going to call this new uh, IMG uh, is equal to, and then we'll call new image dot save because uh, you need to set it as a new variable. You can't use that because it still classes it as the same um, variable, and I tend to wiggle my mouse a lot, um, so I do apologise for that. <laughs> Um, right, so now it should be resized. Awesome. 
Right, so we've got our um, picture um, pulling, so let's put it into the main code. Uh, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. I uh, don't necessarily need this, so let's get rid of that. Right, uh, let's make that smaller. We'll put that about there ish. Chuck this over here. It would be really cool if you could split screen like you can on um, my Linux uh, Mint on my laptop because I got rid of Windows because it's pants. Um, um, so it'd be cool if you could do that on a Raspberry Pi, but you can't seem to do it. Anyhow, right, so I've got this and I want to start um, changing my display. So I want to get to my security menu um, and I want to put in place the correct um, picture for the, uh, for the button. Um, and where is it? So there's the back one. Ah, I know what uh, it's in as. Do you know what? I'm going to leave the picture being as that because I don't want to go into the the folder um, for now. Oh, I could just chuck it in, can I? Let's. Uh, I think it's the mode one that I've got it set for. Do you know what? We'll just we'll hard code it in. Um, so I'll just comment this bit out just to get it working so it shows on the display correctly. Cool. Um, right, so the file is called uh, cctv underscore on button dot png I believe and if I close that off and comment that out right so that should then be there um, mode change function have we got a mode change function didn't realize I had mode change ah yeah it will do won't it um, Right, I need to take that function out um, because I don't want it to actually do anything. So I'm just going to end that off there and comment that command out. Um, basically, the and that's the wrong one, Martin. Well done. <laughs> I hope you spotted that because uh, I'm a bit uh, flustered with all the keyboard problems uh, that I had earlier. So sorry. Uh, anyhow. Right, so that's commented out is the mode change. Basically the mode change function is when you touch the screen on that button that I've got there, um, it changes it to be either off or on, basically. Um, so I'm going to code it so it stays in the on position just for me to do my testing uh, whilst I'm doing this live stream because I don't want to go into my, my settings file and give you my details. <laughs> um, not that I don't trust you or anything, but mm. anyhow, uh, right, so I've created that and I want to be able to uh, create a function, let's stick in at the bottom here, um, these are to do with my temperatures, so that's why they're uh, commented out, right, right, so let's um, call a function called grab image yeah we'll go with that um, and we're going to pass in uh, the camera um, we'll just call it cam and we will go with uh, basically we want to grab all of this uh, we need to import these libraries as well so I'm going to first of all get it to do all of this really so I'm just going to grab all this copy that and stick it in here uh, it's going to 
chuck it in the best it can but we need to uh, just indent it over so like so um, I'm going to get rid of these spaces because uh, we don't want white space do we uh, right let's just put another line in there right so we've grabbed our um, picture and the camera that we're going to work with um, I'm going to put into down here um, yeah so let me just slide to the end of here um, so rather than the cam 1 <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm going to pass in the cam um, variable that we're passing in when we're calling um, <coughs> excuse me the actual function so grab um, image and that's what we're going to pass into it um, so in the trigger of the sensors so I need to get back up here nobody in chat nobody laughing at me <laughs> um, and because I've got my rear uh, sensor just there near the window uh, the camera won't see me um, because of the position of the camera but I'm going to trigger the rear one um, and we'll get a picture of the rear camera so let us um, put it into this function because this is a, a working thread on its own and what we want to do is so when it's triggered to false when it goes to ground if the external voice is on it's going to do that um, but before we do that we're going to grab uh, the image and we're going to pass in um, now because this is PIR free which is the rear um, I know it's going to be um, camera free which is imported through my uh, house settings uh, that's a variable basically it's just 301 as a string um, so that's going to do that and when it's done that if the voice is set then it's going to add it into the voice um, and basically we want to then pass in if security menu that's going to sort out the uh, the display so I don't need to worry about that bit um, if it's not then it's going to do that and basically when it's done that I want to display the picture so we'll put it in after this first if so we'll call well, well we're going to create a function um, so we'll call this disp um, image so we'll pass it in as that and we're going to um, it's going to grab that CCTV image I uh, don't think we need to pass anything to be fair so let's just create the function or call the function and we will go to the bottom and where we've done the grab um, let's, speaking of grab let's grab all this bit of text here because this is what makes the frames work um, for my code so I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to call the disp image pass nothing into it and backspace and then paste it in because it's all indented uh, indented uh, there's nothing on chat nobody's watching yay but I'm sure you're watching it back though aren't you <laughs> cool uh, yes I'm a bit strange um, so these are my defaults basically what is happening here is I do not need that line so let's get rid of that uh, right so the main bit here is this frame is the layout of my um, my GUI so although you've got the root I use disp frame so root will always stay alive disp frame as you can see here um, I destroy it because I'm 
evil and I like to blow stuff up um, but then I recreate it uh, into the root with a black background and it expands to be the full width etc um, menu screen um, that's basically it's just a that it is a menu screen this necessarily won't be in a menu screen but when menu screen is on and the last touch um, in the uh, showtime function uh, that's further up I don't need to move to it but basically uh, if it's after 30 seconds sorry seconds not seconds um, from when you when you took when this uh, image is brought on um, then it'll go back to the um, the show time so the screen server sort of thing and it's not secure at menu so that's why that's false uh, but what I want to do is I want that camera picture to stay on screen for more than whew, uh, should we have it on for two minutes so 30 seconds is the standard time so if I plus um, 90 seconds is a, a, a minute and a half so this way the picture will stay on screen for two minutes okay so that's that um, and then basically what I want to do here is <coughs> I need a drink excuse me mouth getting dry um, basically I want to get that uh, image so I'm gonna have to put it as a global because uh, it won't display. Um, I've done that previously where I forget to set it as a global. So we'll call this image. I don't want to call it anything that's previously been called. So we'll call this. What should we call it? The joys of doing stuff um, live, um, non-scripted, etc. Um, uh, let's just call it CCTV. <laughs> uh, I know it's the actual. Uh, no, I can't call it that, can I? Uh, we'll call it Cam. You know what? Let's call it Camera Image. Yeah. So, well, uh, very uh, inventive. Um, so camera image is equal to tk not tl dot um, photo image and the file that we want to pull mm. that's a point I'm setting well I'm setting it as um, cctv image I'm pulling it in I know it's already in memory. Um, yeah, we'll we'll pull it in again. Um, well, we don't actually pull it in again. Um, yeah, we'll do it this way. Um, so anyhow, file is equal to cctv.png because Tikinter likes PNGs, and we're going to put a camera. And we'll set this as a label. So we'll call camera label um, is equal to tk dot label and it's going to go into the disp frame um, we don't need to set a background because it's going to be covered over by a picture so that's irrelevant uh, the, and it should take up the full picture right so camera um, label uh, dot and we can we can grid this but it doesn't really matter so we're just going to pack it I know normally I, I grid stuff but when I do stuff into the root window I pack it so it's it's a bit easier um, so I'm just going to pack this in there um, but um, as I have the the width the full width and the height 450 um, and it's going to be it's going to be a gap at bottom as it is because it'll stick it in at top um, so I want to pad it down 
um, so let's have a go with that so I'll stick a bit of pad in the y direction and so technically there's 30 pixels so if I go we'll go 15 down so that should be in the middle um, yeah that should be it so I know that's not going to work so we don't want to actually um, grab the image because we've already got his image no we do uh, yeah because it's always going to be set to on uh, I've got no way to actually trigger it have I uh, right I've got an idea uh, I'm going to set the button uh, that I set for the CCTV preview on um, to actually trigger this function rather than it being because uh, I ain't got a jumper with me I've got jumpers downstairs but I ain't got a jumper to short between ground and the appropriate pin for the rear sensor at the moment so uh, I'll uh, well it'll be when, when I've uploaded it live uh, to the other one the one downstairs then it will all work um, so yeah let us so I'm going to grab image and pass in uh, keep going where's the commented out bit right so I want to uncomment that bit out um, and this is going to be changed to I don't need any of that so um, grab image um, passing arguments into here I need to tell it as a lambda I believe so I'll pass that as a lambda how can I do it the other way yeah should imagine uh, anyhow um, do that is it colon or is it comma grab image and then args equals I think this is how I do it uh, like I say it's been a while since I've messed around with pictures um, this wants to be a string of 301 for the rear camera yeah I think that's what I need let's try it syntax error awesome uh, what am I doing um, I'm thinking of when I'm working with threading when I'm doing it through uh, calling a threading so because I'm using lambda I can just call the function and pass it in so I didn't need that, there we go syntax error again grab image does take a argument doesn't it Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, oh, never. Let's come on. 
Oop, going into the wrong one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that should be in security. Right, so it's on. There's my button, uh, which is good. Uh, and let's see if we uh, if we've done the coding right. Should be grabbing the image. Let's have a look in the folder and see if it has done it. Uh, CCTV 1607. So no, it's not pulled the image because I haven't set the imports of the language uh, libraries. Oh dear, Martin! Did it? Did it? Did it? I just realised. Uh, oh dear. Right. So I I've got that one. So I need to do the. Um, I like to put stuff in a in a in a line. So <laughs> from PIL import um, image. There we go. And it, pops in um, and I don't think I even need OS in here so I'm just gonna get rid of that and the other one was requests and it should fit in here oof just um, too many eyes right let's run that let's give it a well don't know what that were about Never mind. Has it given it a problem? Right. Lambda missing. I can't remember how I did the lambda before with my previous GUIs. Um, is it just that way? no errors come let's have a look shall we and look at I don't have one currently there and we have grabbed our rear picture hey look at the garden <laughs> so uh, we have pulled the picture we've saved it uh, but we haven't displayed it why didn't it display? Uh, but we've pulled the picture, that's the main thing. Let's just minimize that one and get rid of that one. Uh, it didn't do that function at all, did it? Uh, so let's get to PIR thread free and grab image. Ah. It's hat. Well, ah, oh, it's not going to display it, is it? <laughs> because I'm not triggering the passive. Eh, oh dear. Yeah, that's that's prepared for when I upload it to the actual <laughs> Raspberry Pi that's downstairs. Oh man, uh, I need to get to that function uh, for the modes change. Not that one. Um, below. I need to call this function. Now I've saved it. Um, so, why did that do that? There we go. Uh, right, so disp image. Whew. And it's a function, don't forget the parentheses. Right. So the time now is 16.33, uh, 32. I'm going to wait, I'm going to chill out a second, have a drink, <laughs> uh, and do it when it gets to 33. There's nobody in chat at the moment. <coughs> um, the stream's been going however long. Oh. 
50, 54 minutes, but I did have quite a few problems earlier <laughs> with my keyboard. Oh, it says it's charged up. I don't know what happened there. Anyhow, it's working, so I can unplug this wire. I'll sort that out for his uh, Kindle in a bit. Ah, it's gone at 33, so let's go into the security menu and click on the CCTV preview. And, ta -da! it's not done it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, camera image. Oh, mine. I didn't tell it that the image is equal to camera image. Hang on, I got that variable name somewhere else. Do I call that somewhere? No, it's just here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's see how many seconds there is. 54, awesome. Right, so I'll just give it a couple of seconds. 34 now. Right, go into security and click on there. Ta da! Right, and we've got a, a suitable border at the top and at the bottom. Awesome. Um, so it displays it uh, within a second or two, I guess. So, what I need to do now is I want to upload it to my uh, unit that's downstairs. I know the stream's getting on for nearly an hour um, um, but um, I'm happy with it and I'm not bothered if it's taking an hour because um, I do stuff. Um, I'm just waiting for the time to go back and it should be 36 and about a couple of seconds um, when it goes back to the screensaver mode. So there's another minute to go, because it's still 34 at the moment. 35 now. Um, I'll have another drink. And if I'm going to test outside, I need to do it quick soon, because it's looking a bit grey out there. It might rain again. It should be getting near to 36. There we go. So yeah, it's roughly about <laughs> the time. So yeah, I'm happy with that. But it's working. That's the main thing. Um, so let us close that off. And uh, we don't need that. Um, house 2. We're going to keep that. Um, well, I don't need it now, so I'm going to close that. Um, I don't need the CCTV script that I initially did, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I need this, and I don't need this, so I can close that. Right, let's connect to the Pi downstairs. So first of all, I need to SSH into it, um, because, um, like I say, the script is currently running. And my wife has got the heating on. I've just felt the radiator. Um, so I'm just going to put the. So she's got a little bit of heating in the meantime whilst I uh, stop it working. <laughs> um, top. And I'm looking for my Python script. 9251. 9251. Oops, I forgot space. Nine two five one. 
Right, so that should have gone off downstairs. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's make this full screen. Uh, we'll clear this, and we're going to secure shell into it to transfer the folder that's on the. Oh, it's me going black screen. I thought me uh, my stream had gone off. I just saw it go black on the corner of my eye. Uh, this wants to be pi at. Dot seventeen, and yeah, we we're happy with that. Uh, the password. Right. So where am I? So let's list out. So the home folder that the script is working on that pie is currently there. Um, so I want to. Where am I on my current thing? So I'm in the pie folder. Uh, which I could have done PWD, uh, LPWD, so there we go. Uh, I want to uh, CD for myself um, into desktop and into the, no, nope, just the desktop will do. And if I do local present print working directory, uh, it's not done it. That should have uh, done the command. Do you know what? Let's just exit out of that and we'll change into the desktop ourselves. There we go. Um, I've just realised I'm still SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi. Exit. Right, now I'm in the correct. Oh, that's why it was showing as uh, clear on the desktop because there's nothing on the desktop on the unit downstairs. Let's start again. Start again! Uh, right, so I am on my Pi. I want to go into my desktop. Right, ls. I should have my home and sort later lol because um, that's a lot of files that I just chucked in to clear my desktop. Right, so now sftp pi at and the IP address again. Um, 17. That's why I wondered why I had to enter my. I put the password in wrong then. Uh, yes, um, when I previously uh, sftp it said. Um, do you want to confirm this new connection uh, because I was connecting to itself for some silly crazy reason so local PWD I should be on my desktop yay and the directory where we are in the thing so I want to right so I want to put because I'm gonna um, upload it to the um, pie downstairs I want to upload uh, oops, I need to pass in the uh, dash capital R for all the other uh, other stuff that's in this drive, which is going to be my home. And we're going to call it Home 2. Um, just as it's... I don't want to mess about. Uh, plus, it's an extra backup of what's currently on the Pi downstairs. So that's just going to upload all that which is done cool super duper let's ls and we do have the home 2 down here uh, and if I ls um, home 2 oops I did home ls home um, 2 and you should see that I have uh, the CCTV picture and the buttons that I've created on well on this pie uh, and now downstairs so awesome right so I can exit from this and it doesn't matter that where I am but uh, let's clear the screen again and we shall no nope, we won't do it from terminal we are going to be technical we're going to VNC into it so let's connect so we can see the display as well um, so I'll double click that and Ooh, did I do 
something wrong. Oh man. There we go. Ta -da. Right, so this is the desktop of the pilots downstairs. Um, and I just saw it come up on me uh, <laughs> on my uh, my other my laptop that's uh, got the stream and the chat on. Um, but anyhow, uh, right. So I want to let's just open the Python ID LE, and we're going to select the home to folder that's in here rather than the home folder, and we're going to set the house to scripts running. When I say running, I need to bring it up first. So if I press F5, now it'll start running and it should take over the whole screen. No, no, it won't because I need to change that bit of code. Um, let's just make sure because, uh, yeah, the external voice is on. Let's stop, let's not freak the wife out because <laughs> um, she's downstairs and she'll wonder what's going on. Um, also, the little, the little lads downstairs as well. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Mm, right. Ah, I need to change that function, don't I? Otherwise, it's not going to do it. It'll show it on the display, uh, display here. Uh, so I need to stop that script. I uh, didn't really think about this bit. Whew. Right. Uh, we'll leave it so I can stop the script initially. Um, but when I receive uh, movement on PIR3 it's going to grab that, it's going to grab the thing and then call that function whereas me um, I had the button set to to actually force it there we go right so um, I'm just going to comment that bit out because I don't need that to do that. Um, we're gonna, I'm not going to touch the button. I'll sort this button out because I have to go into my house settings which I want to keep private from you a lot. Um, and that should then trigger when I stick my arm out of the window. I think that's all. Oh, I need to have the. I might as well put the temperature sensors back in. So let's uh, uncomment that. And I'm using. Uh, I need to do use the delete key on this because uh, it doesn't do it the same way. Uh, I think that's all. Sorted. Oh, I don't want to do that, do I? So let me get rid of that line. Behave. <laughs> um, right, let's run that. And then when we trigger it, it should. There we go. Let's get into there and turn the external voices off. Um, so that's set to on. Now I'm going to go through, oh well, not through the window, but I'm going to stick me out. So hopefully it should come up on screen. There we go. Ta-da! The time isn't showing in that picture, is it? Ah, that's why, because it's not full screen. Um, but it's working. Cool. Um, and that should work. Well, it's only set for the the rear camera at the moment. Let's just cancel that, close that off, and let's go back to the functions for the passives. And I haven't got my headset back. So I want to basically grab uh, the 
image and then the camera recording and then the display image so I need to go to the these ones um, like so yeah. sorry for any loud noises whilst I do that uh, right so first of all I want to grab image and I'm going to pass in this will be camera 2 because this is oh no uh, camera 1 I thought I want PIR thread 1 uh, 2 um, and then after the if um, well the reason why I'm putting it after the uh, if external voice so that when it grabs it it'll send Google to do the external voice to say rear guard and movement uh, which my wife doesn't particularly like for some reason um, what was it? Di disp display cam was it? I can't remember what it was called now <laughs> I have just done this uh, display image <laughs> Hey dear. It's getting dark in here. Hey Google, light on please. You can see my keyboard now. Um Yep, so whoops. Grab image. Uh this is gonna be cam two, because this is Fred two. And I've put that in the wrong spot. Well done, Martin. Control X should be under here, um, and this one move over. Disp image uh, passing nothing. Right, so they are all there. Um, I'm not faffing around with the PIR thread four because I don't have a a camera um, linked up at the moment, but I will have. Um, in the next few days hopefully um, so I don't need to worry about the garage uh, one for now right so let's make sure this works mind you I've already tested it so it should be fine let's, uh, let's get rid of that so it goes full screen and it should look a lot better Delete, delete. Right, so that's sorted, and I think that's everything. I'll sort the uh, the button out after. Uh, right, let's F5 that and save that, and it should work. It's all full screen now, which is good. Let's turn off the external voice so it doesn't freak them out. And I'm sorry for taking my headphones off again. Uh, I might be at a re reach actually, so I'll just move my wire. Right, you ready? <coughs> Super duper. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Um, so that should be downstairs on the unit downstairs. Um, yeah, it will be. Uh, I'm not going downstairs to take a picture with my phone because uh, I think that's a bit pointless because I'm VNC in viewing. Right. Um, I'd have to say that is it for this live stream. Um, it has gone on longer than I wanted it to, but. Um, that's live coding for you. Um, I don't have anything scripted or anything. I'm just I figured out. Um, I'm quite surprised though with the the image dot from bytes when considering the actual image is bytes. Um, yeah, that's strange. Is that why I had to import IO to actually get that working? But thanks for. Um, uh, stack overflow that helped me out with that so I can close that off and that um, but yeah that's weird how I had to do that um, I mean if I bring that up again just as a as a test 
if I print out let's just comment this out and if I do the if I print the type of capture it should be bytes oh, I've forgotten to put the uh, dot content see they're all bytes so why image didn't work when it's working with bytes using the function from bytes <laughs> that's weird is that uh, but it's working so that's the main thing um, so I've achieved uh, achieved achieved something today um, I hope you've enjoyed this live stream uh, nothing in the chats I'm sure I turned on live chat uh, but anyhow uh, thank you for watching uh, please like the video if you found it comical if not anything else um, but uh, yeah uh, I prefer doing live videos because I don't have to edit stuff out and I know the camera that's down here on the screen um, has a second delay and normally when I uh, when I've done my recordings I edit stuff on my my laptop well uh, Linux Mint that I just recently put on my laptop um, and I synchronize the video to the uh, camera um, and I, well when I say I edit stuff it's mainly the sound so I do apologize the sound quality in the live stream because uh, I do normally um, play around with the sound um, on all my videos um, I don't chop anything out of any of my videos sometimes if I forget to do something um, in like a Python tutorial um, I'll just stick it in and say I'm just gonna jump in here sort of thing um, and I don't know what's on this if you notice down here on my <laughs> it looks like I've got you know them little stickers that you get from micro, uh, from McDonald's you know the coffee cup stickers um, I don't know what that is I think it's something to do with this light up above me yeah because it's a metal frame thing <laughs> uh, but it looks like I've got a, a sticker on my uh, t-shirt or on the lens um, Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you found it enjoyable uh, as well as informative. But please like it uh, if you've enjoyed it and share it for those who don't know uh, about stuff um, and would benefit them um, or at least having a laugh um, along the way. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Whew.